Are you someone who likes to do everything all the time? So am I. So in this workout, we're gonna do everything the whole time. We'll start with yoga, and then we'll move into six different circuits. They have upper body strength, lower body strength, cardio, and core. At the end, we're gonna finish off with a little bit of Pilates to make sure that your hips don't lie, and that's all. So you need everything today. You need your bands, you need your weights, and you need a yoga mat. And I think this is about a level four on the strong arm scale, so you probably need water and a sweat towel as well. We'll start with yoga, take a quick break to put on our shoes, and then from there, it's an all out show. Let's go. Okay, so start standing at the top of your mat. We're gonna go through a few yoga flows. Don't worry if you've never done yoga before or if you hate yoga, just consider it a dynamic warm up. See? Okay, feet underneath the hips. Inhale, raise the arms, look up. Exhale, pull your belly button to your spine, dive down into a forward fold. As you inhale, lift your back halfway up, flat spine. Exhale, bend the knees, step your right foot and your left foot to plank pose. On inhale, get onto the tiptoes. On exhale, lower your knees and then your chin and chest down in a tricep push-up. As you inhale, press your toenails against the ground, lift your upper back without using your hands. And on exhale, head comes down. As you inhale, flex your feet, push your bum to your heels coming through a long back stretch. And on exhale, raise the bum to the sky for downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, bend the elbows. Exhale, step right and left foot to the top. As you inhale, lift your chest halfway, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra. Hands come over the head last. Do it again. Exhale, tuck your chin, curve spine, dive down into a forward fold. Inhale, flat spine, half lift. Exhale, hands to the ground, step left and right foot back. As you inhale, come onto your tippy toes. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the ground. On inhale, low cobra, hands light. You might even lift them off the ground. Exhale, head comes down. Flex your feet, push your bum to your heels. Ah, take the stretch, this is called extended puppy dog pose. And then raise your butt up, downward facing dog pose, heels pressed to the ground. Inhale, bend knees, look forward. Exhale, step left and the right foot under the hips. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, soften the knees, raise the arms up. Exhale, hands to your chest. Okay, sun salutation B is next. Move your feet together so that they're touching. Inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sit, Utkatasana, chair pose. Booty goes back, hands separate, shoulders back and down. Exhale, hands through heart, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, step the right foot back. Big toe to heel, come down to the ground. And it's on a diagonal, so the entire foot's flat and it's turned out to the side. As you inhale, curve your spine, come up into what's called warrior one, a calf stretch. And on exhale, lift your right heel, bring both hands to the ground. Inhale, step to plank. Now, if you'd like, no knees here. Bend your elbows, lower all the way down to the ground. Inhale, now you do push into your hands to lift into a higher cobra. Exhale, head back down. Inhale, push through plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot and left foot to the top. Touch them together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Now inhale, sit down again, Utkatasana. Chair pose, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold again. We do the left leg now. Inhale, half lift, strong core. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back. Toe, ball, heel to the ground. On the diagonal, foot faces the side. Tuck your chin, roll your torso up. Coming from to warrior one, hands together at the top. And exhale, hands to the ground, lift your left heel up. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, bend elbows, chest comes to the ground. Inhale, toenails down, lift chest up, maybe look up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, push through plank. You can always use your knees there. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step left and right foot to touch at the top. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, soften your knees, raise your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, now we're gonna go through a Shivananda Vedanta flow. Inhale, raise the arms up, palms face the front, lean back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, you know this. Exhale, bend the knees, step the right leg back and lower the right knee down to the ground. <clears throat> Inhale, raise arms up, lean back, palms face front. Exhale, hands come down. As you inhale, lift your right knee up, step your left foot back. If you'd like for Chaturanga Dandasana now, that's where you lower and hover. Inhale, chest up and through, hips forward. Exhale, roll over, downward dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky, open the right hip up. Exhale, step it between your hands. You can always move your foot up there. Give yourself a little bit of help. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Find a twist. Exhale, right hand down. Okay, this one's fun. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Standing splits, looking towards right calf. Exhale, feet under the hips. As you inhale, soften your knees, reach your hands forward, reach them up, squeeze your butt, lean back, and forward fold again. Round two, other side. Half lift, plant hands, left foot far, far back, left knee to the ground, so right knee is over right ankle. Lift the arms up, stretch, lean back, hands come down. Lift your left knee up, step your right foot to meet it, Maybe try for the hovering. Inhale, chest up and through. Exhale, roll over, downward dog. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Exhale, step it between the hands, low lunge. Raise the left arm up to the sky. Look up to the left. And both hands come down. Standing splits, right leg to the sky, forehead to the left calf. Oh, I love this. Both feet come down, soften the knees, relax the elbows, slowly, slowly, slowly roll up, shoulders up, back and down. Ha! Ah, I think we're warm. I love yoga as a warm up. See, isn't that functional? You don't even have to be all like woo wooed and hippied out. You can just use some yoga to warm up before your class. Yeah, okay, I feel like yoga is the original dynamic warm up. Anyway, we're putting on our shoes right now, in case you missed that memo. We are ready to move on. So, we're starting our first circuit. We've got, I can't even tie my shoes. <laughs> our first circuit is a sumo lateral walk. You could also call it a crab walk. And I'm gonna use my band around my thighs. If you don't have a band, it's okay. You don't gotta do it. You can just push your knees out to the side and pretend like you're pushing on a band. And then we've got a three pulse heel click. You'll have two options here in this three pulse heel click. After we do those two exercises three times, then we're gonna move on to shuffles as our cardio. Oh, but first we're gonna do one minute of arms. So we'll do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off of those leg exercises. And then we'll do a full minute of shuffles for the cardio and a full minute of arms to bring our heart rate back down, okay? Only one movement in the arms. 
So I'm gonna grab my, uh, I think I'll do my medium tightness band for this. <clears throat> the three poles heel click will have no band. So it's up to you um, if you, well, okay. You'll just have no band for that. Now the last thing that you have here is if you want, you can grab one or two hand weights to have in the middle for the lat walk. So I'm gonna choose just one. And 30 seconds, ready, go. So here's your sumo lat walk, side to side here. Take up as much space as you can. I have a new yoga mat that I'm trying to uh, work in. When you get a new yoga mat, it's usually pretty slippery. So I'm gonna try to stay on this mat, work it out a bit. 10 seconds left here. And then we go to a three pulse heel click. So you'll be in a squat position. You'll pulse three times at the bottom and then click your heels. So take this off, it's a quick change. So it's three, two, one like this, or three, two, one, one heel, go. So I'm gonna show you the one heel option right now. And then I switch to the other one. Stand, click. Next option is with the double heels. It's up to you. This is intended to be strength training, so you don't necessarily have to get the jump. Five more seconds. Great, okay, if you are using a band and or the weight, put it back on. You could use one, both, or none. Round two, go, 30 seconds. Ooh, so if your back is hurting you here, I suggest not using the weight. Just use the band. Hello, I love my plants. I'm like a weird plant lady. Hi, baby pineapple. That one's a baby pineapple, do you see it? It really is, it's a tiny pineapple up top. It's amazing. Three, two, one, quick drop. And we go three pulses, heel clicks. Don't be shy, find the right version for you. Ready, go. Sit the booty right back and down. It doesn't have to be lower than your knees. It can be just right above. Three, two, one. Five seconds. Oh, final round here, final round here. My legs are shaking a bit. Three, two, Go. Push out against the band or against the imaginary band. That's called activation. You don't need a band to feel as if you have a band using your brain. Release, final round, three pulse heel clicks. Then we go into our shuffles. We'll have a little break before shuffles. Ready, go. Ow. Oh, my legs are feeling it. Five seconds. Uh, rest. Oh. Okay, so for the shuffles, you'll stay low. This is very sporty, if you will. Find as much space as you have. You go to one side, tap at the end, other side, tap. If you need to stand up to release your back and then tap, that's fine. One minute starts in three, Two, go. One whole minute here. One whole minute. So find a pace that's good for you. And you don't have to stay in front of your computer here. 
or your phone. You can go explore, whoa. Yoga mat. No dangerous objects in our way. Safety first. I might go a little bit to the side. Oh yeah, now I got some serious space. We are halfway. Oh, little bit of burnout for those quadriceps. 15 seconds. Try not to use your hand on your leg. Use your core. Five. And rest. Oh, good job. Okay, final part of this set is a bicep curl. So I'm actually gonna grab my barbell. Just reason being, my hand weights aren't quite heavy enough. And all we do is curl and release for a full minute. And then we move on to our next circuit. So grab those weights, ready, go. Hands right to the chest and down. So it doesn't matter what kind of weights you have here, just as long as your elbows stay close to your body. Just targeting the biceps, that's all. Ooh, as you can tell, I need to catch my breath. And if your hand weights are light, feel free to go faster. We're over halfway through. Chin up, look forward. We got it, 10 seconds. Five. And rest, you did it. Round one complete. Okay, so. On to round two, circuit two, I should say. So for this one, we've got a deadlift. We do a double leg deadlift. So just traditional deadlift, feet under the hips. And then we have a single leg deadlift. We'll do one leg and then the other leg to start. And then we'll only do one leg for the next two rounds. So I've got a nice heavy barbell for my regular deadlift. And then I've got a lighter one for my single leg. So you could also, for the single leg, have, um, let me show you, you could have two hand weights, and if your right leg is going back, then your left hand has the weights. That's also an option. Okay, 30 seconds, 10 off, ready, steady, both legs, let's go. So the key of the deadlift is the hinge motion in the hips. So the hips hinge straight back, hovering somewhere over the heels. Shoulders pinch ever so lightly together on that spine. Look past your toes towards the ground. And we're looking for a hang time. So we want the booty hanging out there. And release. Okay, now we switch to single leg, but we go right leg, then left leg. Ready? Shoulders stay square, go. And up. So I'm really looking for my shoulders and my hips to stay square here. Oh yeah. Trying to undo some of the preferential treatment that we all have for one leg over the other. Strengthening core with the balance here as well. Five seconds. And release. Bend your knees to set stuff down. Okay, five seconds. Your bar only goes as low as your back is straight. Go. Let me say that again. So, how low your bar goes depends on how straight you can keep your spine in that transit. So if you're flexible and you got some pretty strong hamstrings, you can go all the way down to the ground. You just gotta keep that back straight. Good, five seconds. 
and release. <clears throat> if your back hurts in between sets, give it a little spin. <laughs> okay, left leg on the ground, right leg lifts and lowers. Go. Left leg is on the ground, right leg is moving. Whoa. Whoa. Try to press the heel toward the sky and the toes <laughs> straight down underneath it. So toes are not turned to the side. They're straight down underneath. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, final round with both legs. Ready? Go. All the way to the heels. Make sure your head doesn't drop below your shoulders here. So neck is long in the back. Five, four, three. Oh no, that's not correct. 10 seconds. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Five seconds for real, trust me. And release. Okay, right leg on the ground, left leg moving. And then we move to our cardio for this, which is burpees. Yes, get excited. Go. So try to keep the hips square and then work the glutes by pushing the leg up higher even though the hips are square. Ten seconds. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, move stuff aside. Safety first, as mentioned before. And we're coming into burpees. I'm gonna prompt a full burpee. Let me show you what that looks like. All the way down to the ground. So at the top, it's a hop. You just fall down, come back up, and hop. You don't have to do a full burpee. You can do a thruster. It looks like this with no hop if you want. Okay, one minute starts in three, two, one, go. We only have to do this once, so give it your all. Ugh. Hello, heart. once I feel like I'm okay with that I feel like I can give it my all if I know I have to do it more times it's a different story okay tricep extensions so you want to grab one heavier weight or two lighter uh, let's see I'll use these and we have the hands up over the head version one whole minute here pull your rib cage back ready Go. This finishes off our second circuit. So keep your elbows very, very close to your head. The number one mistake I see with triceps in my in-person classes is people are out here like this. It's a really easy way to lose that form and it's not gonna work the triceps as targeted as we'd like. Halfway there, chin stays lifted here. Spa 
spine stays lifted. Keep the glutes active. Keep the upper belly active. Push the bones taller, using the muscles. Oh, five. And rest, yes. Okay, put these nearby. Kaput, fair take. So next we've got a walking lunge. So I'm gonna go to a slightly lighter barbell here. Excuse me while I add some weight to my barbell. And then we have a pendulum lunge. So we want one or two hand weights for the walking lunge. And we want one hand weight or one heavy hand weight for the pendulum lunge. So for the walking lunges, you might have more space than me. I don't have much space, so I'm just gonna do forward step lunges. But if you can actually walk forward and turn around and walk backward in your space, it's better. Okay, so get some weights. We start with a forward step lunge in five. Next, just follow along. I'll show you what's coming. Go. So I'm just gonna do forward step. And again, this could be a forward walk lunge. In the next round, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. My weight is not as heavy as my deadlift weight. It should be a little lighter for lunges. Good. Five seconds. And rest. Grab onto one or two hand weights. Your left leg will stay still. Your right leg will go forward and backward. Ready, go. Weights in the left hand. Yeah, so it's a forward lunge and then a backward lunge. Left leg is still, right leg is moving. Weights in the left hand. Chest high. 10 seconds. Good, five. And switch it out, walking lunge, but this time we're gonna go backward. So you're either walking backward or stepping backward. Go. For some of us, stepping back lunge feels better on the knees. For others, it's the forward. Know thyself. 10 seconds. Good, five. And rest, pendulum change. So right foot stays still, left foot moves forward and backward. Weights in right hand, go. The knee does not have to touch the ground, but it can go low. 15 seconds, final round. We put it all together. 10 more seconds here. Good. And rest. So you'll go forward, forward, backward, backward. Right, left. Right, left, ready, go. Forward lunge, forward lunge, backward lunge, whoa, backward lunge, oh yeah. And I don't really care if you are going right, left, or left, right, just keep going. You're halfway. Good, five. Even out both sides, quick change. Weight in each hand or weight at your chest. I'm gonna do the chest version. Pendulum right, pendulum left. Let's go. Maybe skipping the center tap, working the balance. This is the last part here. And then we go into our cardio. I bet you can guess what it is. <laughs> Ten more seconds here. Oh. 
five. Let's even out both sides. So I'm gonna even out the other side. Go just a little over time. Yes, okay. Set this down, clear your space, keep it safe. Next, we're doing jumping lunges. So, you have options. One is not jumping. You just step back, step back as quickly as you like, or forward, whatever your knees want. Two is a jump, center pause, center pause, center pause. Three, no pause. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, starting in five seconds, it's one minute. Pick your poison, go. It's only one time, just like burpees. Just remind yourself, this sucks, but I'm getting stronger and I only have to do it once. And we're a quarter of the way through. Oh, yeah. oh. Booty, 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 booty. Quads, 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 quads. Halfway. Ow. Oh. 15. Ow. Final 10, come on guys. We can do it. Five. Yes, we can. Yes. We're okay. Okay. We've got a backward fly. Excuse me, bent over fly. So catch your breath before you bend over. We have two hand weights, pull our abs in, head higher than shoulders, lift, lower. Try not to fling the weights, keep it under control. Ready, go. Oh yeah. Now, the next set is gonna look slightly different. We'll do just one leg thing, and we'll do one arm thing, and we'll superset those two, then cardio, and then we go to the ground. Good, 15 more seconds. Sweat dripping down my forehead, 10. Almost there, five. And relax, yes. Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna wipe my sweat, and then grab my medium band again, plus my hand weights. So this is gonna be right leg staggered lunge and repetition. So with your weights, back or I guess right leg. My left, your right, back, 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 and then the other side, and then side to side. In between that, with the weights that we may have in our hands already, we're gonna do a full pec deck. So elbows by your side, I'll show you like this. See, 90 degrees, up, front, lift, lower, turn, down. Up, front, lift, lower, turn, down, okay? So, starting in five seconds with our right leg step back squat, go. It's on the diagonal. So it's not straight back, it's on the diagonal. And stand, sit. The front toes are just in line with the front knee the whole time. So you might have to adjust where those toes are so that the knee and the toes are always happy. Always working together. Five seconds, and then we have our 10 second break, and we go into the arms, rest. So, I just keep the band on. Make sure the band is kind of close to the knees. Not on, but close. Ready, go. 30 seconds, full pec deck. 
My hands are never really moving from their orientation with my elbows. I'm using my shoulders for this motion. 10 seconds. Good. Five. And rest. So now opposite leg will step back. It's my right, probably your left. You can have your weight to your chest. Ready, go. Remember that form of the front knee and the diagonal back foot. Five seconds. And rest. Full pec deck coming next. Starts in five. Ready? Go. This is one of my favorite arm movements ever. We got all the delts. We got all of the biceps, triceps. Well, a little bit, not really, that's a lie. We're barely working biceps, triceps. It's mostly just deltoids, but that's okay. We do have some serratus and lats with the lifting and lowering motion. Core strong, release. Okay, side to side, one leg diagonal, other leg diagonal, use my shirt. Got my towel, I was like, bring your towel, and I didn't, <laughs> go. Fifteen. Five. Let's even out both sides. Awesome. Peg deck starts in five seconds. Good. Ready, go. Next is our cardio for this one. Good news, it involves no squatting. And other good news, it's our final standing cardio. Five seconds. And finish it off. Yes, okay, move these aside. We are gonna do a run, jog, or high knee, whatever you're in the mood for. Preferably with the arms over the head the whole time. But if that hurts your back, don't do it. Starts in five seconds. If it hurts your back, just keep your hands low. Ready, go. One minute here. So manage those feet in such a way as you can sustain for the whole minute. After this, our cardio is more focused on core. So enjoy this. You're welcome to run around your space. Who wants to stay still? That's so boring. You don't even have to look at me. I don't wanna see you. Look away, fool. Jeez. Oh my gosh, we only have 20 seconds left. Uh, cardio's harder with hands overhead. 10. Almost there. Five. Three, two, rest. If you need to go take a potty break after that, I understand. Push pause, go potty, and then come back. Otherwise, let's keep going. So, we're moving to the ground now. We're gonna do a bridge and a staggered bridge. So I'm gonna use my band, my very tight one, and I'm gonna use that lighter, uh, but not too light, 
barbell. Band is over the knees again. So we've got a bridge and a staggered bridge. So for the bridge, I'm using the weights. For the staggered bridge, I am not, but I will still have my band on. So a bridge, the barbell or the weights will be on your hips. Start with a nice neutral or even posterior pelvic tilt. So long against the ground lower back or just neutral. And then you push straight up, drop, up, drop. Try to keep the back muscles a little bit relaxed. This is for your butt. And I'll have the weight on the next one. It's when you're at, at the ground, step one foot further forward, lift, foot in, other foot further forward, lift, okay? That's the staggered bridge. Okay, let's get started in five seconds. Weighted regular bridge, go. So I'm trying not to use my hands to move my bar. I'm just keeping my hands on the sides so it stays on my hips. Shoulders are against the ground the whole time. And you're pressing the knees wide against the band. So we want there to be some tension on the band all the time. Yeah, and release. So move the bar. Ugh, I hate this part. I'm gonna do the side version. <laughs> Okay, ready? Staggered bridge, go. One foot forward, other foot forward. And if you have the band, keep your legs wide enough the whole time to where the band is work the whole time. Drive the heels into the ground. 10 seconds. Five. And rest, round two. Starts in five seconds. Roll up and down carefully. Curve the spine up and down. Ready, go. If you tend to have lower back pain just in life, I suggest rolling your spine up and down. Kind of like doing a cat through this. 10 seconds, oh. five, and release, staggered, round two of three, starts in five seconds, go, try to lead with a different foot first. If you feel your back working too much in this, try not going as high and focusing on engaging the glutes. You might also keep your feet closer to your body. That can sometimes help with the glute engagement. And release, final round, final round. Ready, weighted bridge, go. Oh, glutes so strong. Oh, 10 seconds. Final five, my butt's on fire. And release, final staggered bridge. Oh, sorry neighbors. I'm kind of slamming this down. Ready? Go, oops, I didn't do that right, there it is. Okay, so after this we have our cardio. It's gonna be everyone's favorite, bicycles. Bicycle crunches. Oh, I need it because my quadriceps with this band on are also now starting to fire up. Bands make the booty go round. <laughs> Not the world go round, the booty. Okay, let's go. Take this guy off. 
clear your space of anything that could become dangerous. And we're doing our bicycle kicks, but what bicycle crunches? So hands behind the head, one side, other the whole time. I suggest keeping your lower back against the ground. Go, keep this in control. The number one mistake I see with bicycle crunches is that people let their hips rock side to side and high and low. And that just means that you're ending up working your back muscles way more than your core muscles. It's still an oblique workout, but not really a safe one. So keep the back down, keep the hips still. You're halfway. Oh, shoulders higher. 15 seconds. Oh, good. Five. Two, one. Okay, for the chest work, we have a chest fly. If you'd like to put that band back on and do it in a bridge, you're welcome to. Otherwise, keep your back on the ground. If you tend to have back or shoulder pain, I suggest doing this with your back on the ground. So my version is gonna be with the band. I'll lift my hips, keep my shoulders flat, open and close the arms. Yours might not be with the booty lifted. Okay, pick your poison. Also, I have an injury, so I'm going kind of light here, but chest can be pretty heavy weights. Ready? Steady, go. The number one mistake I see with chest is that people move their hands towards their uh, tops of their shoulders and towards their throat. If we wanna work the chest muscles, our hands need to be lined up with the chest muscles. So that means toward the center of your ribs. If you're a lady, that probably means around your bra line. If you're a part of the Seattle Sounders soccer team, that also means part of your bra line. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone follows the Seattle Sounders in the last world championship game against the Pumas, Ladero scored the tie goal and he ran away from the goal and he started to take off his shirt to show off his sports bra, but that can get you now a yellow card, I think. So his teammate pulled his shirt back down before he could do it. That is good teamwork. That's good teamwork. Ready, one more. And release, yes, okay. Guess what? We are on to our final circuit before we finish off with some Pilates, Pilates. So we actually only need our band for this one, but as I said, I'm gonna clear some space. And I'm also gonna keep my tight band, which I might regret because it's really intense. <laughs> you could <laughs> skip the band. So this is a bear crawl knee ad ab abduction, abduction, and a squat pulse, okay? So, Bear crawl knee abduction is with the knees underneath the hips, the hips flat. You go open, 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 open those knees. Then we have our 10 seconds rest, which I'll probably take something like this. And then in the same position, we find a squat, open, open, open the knees. If the back hurts in that squat, stand up and go side to side, keeping the hips still. Okay, this is our final 30 second circuit. So we're gonna start in the bear crawl. Ready, go. So it's 30 seconds abduction here. And like I said, we're gonna finish off with some hips focused Pilates, kind of trying to even out some of this work that we're doing on the outsides of the hips. Just get the insides as well. Oh, 10 seconds here. But first we got this and we got arms and cardio <laughs> and release come on back good this workout's great because we get the repetition we need for hypertrophy but we also get uh lots of different work go 
So lower back nice and long. Doesn't matter if you're not that low in your squat here. I am looking for those booty edges. Ugh. 15 seconds. Ugh. 10 seconds is hard. Ugh. I honestly think this is the hardest circuit of all. And rest, round one done. Wiggle the knees. Okay, starting in five seconds. Bear crawl. Go. Go to your happy place here. <laughs> this is not easy. The burn is real in this one. Uh, 15. Squeeze the fingertips into the ground. Ooh, 10. 30 seconds never felt so long. Five. And release. And 10 seconds never felt so short. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop bing. Ready, go. Ow. Ben, my editor. Yes. Please make sure that you just bleeped out the word Okay. It's not appropriate for YouTube. I you hope you keep bleeping it out every time I say the word You can stop saying the word <laughs> 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. And lift, wiggle the knees. Okay, we're okay. Dun, dun, dun. Ready? Go. Make sure the head is in line with the shoulders, as always, whenever we're in a bent over position. 15 seconds. Ten. Ugh. My legs are shaking. My left leg is shaking so much. And up. <laughs> Just like bar class. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. Ready, steady. Final time here. Thank God. So we're all the way here is in our heels. Halfway. Oh my gosh. Why? Five. Knees open. 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 Release. God. Ugh. 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 Okay. Loosen it up. All right. Mountain climbers. <laughs> to the next torture. 10 seconds till we start. Legs down, knee, 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 knee. Get it way up to your chest. You could do it on your elbows if your wrist hurt. Ready, go. This is our final cardio. Work it. Elbows relatively straight. And definitely there's still, the arms aren't moving, it's just the lower body. Halfway. Okay, but they're so good for us. So we have a renegade row. Um, I'm gonna use my hand weights, but I'm gonna use my kettlebells because I don't want the weights to roll. And you can do renegade rows 
with your hands on the top of the kettlebell, but you gotta make sure that kettlebell's steady. Um, since I'm injured, I'm gonna be more careful and just keep my hands on the ground. And then I go one, and then the other. So this is the upper body work. In case you didn't tell, you can't tell, it's also core. We start in five seconds. Ready, go. And if this is quite difficult, or if it's too much pressure on your wrists, let me show you. You can just do it with your knees. And the elbow is not going out to the side. The elbow should be going straight to the sky. And we're trying to keep the hips mostly square to the ground. After this, we cool things down a notch. After this, we move to some Pilates. Stay with me. Oh, the Pilates will also involve some stretching as it does. <laughs> 15 seconds left, that's all. Five, four, three, two, yay! We're done with the strength and the cardio. Okay, so move anything dangerous, hazardous, out of the way. And you can keep your shoes on if you'd like. Traditionally, Pilates is shoes off, which I'm gonna go with here. If your feet stink, just warn the people in the surrounding area. Hey guys, it's time for me to do Pilates. I don't care what you think about my stinky feet because I'm here for me, so deal with it. That's what you can say to them in case they're giving you stink eye. Get it? Stinky feet, stink eye. <laughs> okay, so hands around the thighs. Let's chill out. As you exhale, pull your belly button to your spine, tuck your chin to your chest. As you inhale, lift up. If it feels okay, you can arch your back, although traditionally we just stay straight. Exhale, chin tucks. Inhale, lift. Two more, exhale, belly to spine, ribs towards the hips. Inhale up, one more. And come all the way up, good. Sit up tall, separate the feet and flex the ankles. Hands out to the side. As you exhale, dive past the opposite foot. Inhale, center, dive and center. So a nice back reset, shoulder lengthening motion. Also stretching out those hammies. Good. Try to keep the legs still the whole time. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. And one. Good. Point your toes, bring your hands forward. Exhale, tuck your chin, reach past the toes. Inhale, swim the arms back and sit up. Exhale, past the toes. Inhale, swim, and sit. We're really trying to get the rounded lower back here. Four more. Three more. Two more. Head between your elbows. Final one. Yes, okay, let's come all the way back. Feet flex together, go nice and slow. Every vertebra gets a chance to touch the ground. Great, okay, so bend your knees, feet underneath your hips, and as you exhale, press your lower back against the ground and keep it there. Raise the right knee up to a bent knee position, tap knee to knee, toe to toe knee and toe. So as I mentioned before, I just wanna make sure you get a good stretch and also we work some inner thigh muscles 
because we did so much band work today. It's important that we even out the body so you're not in pain tomorrow. Here's four, here's three. Knee squeezes, two, one more, good. And now raise this leg straight up to the sky. Draw small circles here. The lower back is still on the ground. The circle here is controlled. Good, switch directions. Keep your hips still here. Great. And now send your left leg long on the ground. Open the arms slightly wide. Watch out around you. Cross the leg over the left leg, right leg over left. Then push both hips to the ground. Circle out to the side. Another time, right over left. Hips to ground, circle wide. One more time. Good. And let's switch directions. Open to the right, bring it down over left, sky, open right, bring it down, over left, sky, one more round. Good, and then bring the right knee into the chest, hold it tight, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And now tuck your toe under your thigh, pull your knee over your body for a supine twist, looking to the right. And now come to center, lift the right leg up again, lift the left leg up again, bring your heels together and toes apart like ballet style. Open the legs, tap, open, tap, open, tap, open, tap. We're really working the inner thighs here, focusing on squeezing that tap. Lower back is still on the ground. Good, heels tap lightly. We have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, little half circles, 10, nine, eight, seven. Use the inner thighs. Good, two and one. Bend both knees to the chest, lift your head up, give yourself a little squeeze, and slowly lower back down. Right foot against the ground, left leg up to the sky, pull the belly button to the spine. Oh, actually bend your left knee. Now it's knee to knee, toe to knee, knee to knee, toe to knee. A little uh, sway of the foot, sway of the knee. Smooth, long breaths. The right knee is still. Good, here's five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, now it goes up to the sky. Keeping hips steady, draw small circles. Good, switch directions. Now, right leg goes long, hands slightly wide here. Your hips will lift as the left leg crosses the right leg, and then they flatten as the left leg goes wide. And again, this is my favorite kind of like hip therapy motion. It is work, it's still exercise, but it's a different kind of work. Open up, switch directions. Inhale half, exhale half, good. And now leg to the sky. Pull the knee into the armpit, squeeze it tight, tight, tight. And now cross your foot over the opposite thigh. Knee presses towards the ground, gaze toward the left. Stretch your shoulders. And bring your knee to the center. Both knees to the chest. Bring the head toward the knees. Roll into a seat. Oh, 
was not very graceful. Cross one leg in front of the other. Good. Walk your hands forward for a final little lower back knee st hip stretch, excuse me. And now come to center. Let's switch. Same thing, opposite foot forward. And now come all the way up. Let's end our class the way I always do, with a breath and a bow. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Give yourself a bow. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked this class. I loved it, I loved it. Just everything, all the time. That's my kind of balance. Everything all the time. That's balance to me. Is that balance to you? I mean, balance is in the eye of the beholder. It's subjective, okay? So if you want more balancing like this, make sure that you subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified every time I have a new workout. I always have workouts on hump day, Wednesday, just for me to you, special. And I upload workouts throughout the week at other times, as well as other stupid videos that make fun of the fitness industry, myself and my students. It's a really loving place here at Emily Stewart Fitness. Thanks for joining, I'll see you next time. Ha ha ha.